be, being over there, um, was it in Lithuania when your um, social media blew up? Yeah. So Can you explain that? Like, obviously, them looking at your social media, what mm -hmm. you were wearing, um, being in swimsuits and mm -hmm. being a model, and how did that translate over there? Oh, my gosh. I was terrified because I woke up one day um, in Lithuania, and it was like my Instagram just, like, gained 3,000 followers in one night. And I'm like, I woke up, and I was like, what just happened? And I was like, Fantasia! I like wake her up. She's like, what? I'm like, bro, something's going on. I don't know what happened. So then I checked my Facebook, cause like that's how the president of my team like would correspond with me. Um, he was like, the Cholet uh, sports journalism page da, 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 posted um, your Instagram. I turn on the TV and I'm on the TV. Like oh, wow. my pictures from Instagram on TV and I'm like, Oh my God, I'm like, I'm gonna get fired. I'm gonna, I'm gonna think I'm like this and that and this and that. Cause I'm like, yeah, I have, I live in California. I'm gonna be in a bikini, like, come on. So she was like, oh my gosh. Like she didn't know what to do. She's like, dude, you're famous. And I was like, what? No, this is not good. But then the president was like, this is a great thing. And I'm like, oh, okay. As long as I have his blessing, like, and it's not bad, then I'm not gonna lose my job. But um, then my agent called me and was like, you're on every sports journalist page and TV and online everywhere. Your pictures are everywhere. And I'm like, why? Like, why? And he's like, I don't know. He's like, and his dad is like a huge agent out there, like super, super famous there. And he's like, I've never been on any of these. He's like, this is huge. And I'm like, okay, what am I supposed to do? So then I, of course, call my dad. <laughs> dad, oh my gosh, my Instagram. He's like, whoa. And then like, they're they're like blowing me up like i just get a bunch of people wanting to interview me um do photo shoots all kinds of stuff like we would we want to like see if we could sponsor you and i'm like what all because of my instagram so um it's crazy because it was like a good thing but then i had to deal with some stuff on my team mm. so <laughs> Because I'm, I'm sure the admission to y'all games rose. Oh, what? The next game, there were so many people. Like, I'll be honest, certain countries overseas, there's really not that many people. Like, that's just so people know that. But when that happened, so many people came to the games. Like, after the games, they're like, oh, can we get your autograph? Oh, can we get a photo? Hey, can I buy your jersey? And I'm like, I got to wear it for the next game. Like, <laughs> you want to buy my jersey? Like, like so many people were like, can we buy your jersey? Can we buy your jersey? And I'm like, wait, who do I go to for this? I didn't know what to do. And I'm like, I don't have, like, anybody working for me that makes sure stuff goes smooth. Like, so many people were asking me to do, like, X, Y, Z and, and, like, put me on, whatever. And I'm like, wait, should I get, like, like paid off of some of this or something? Because, like, they just want to, like, put me on all this stuff and I'm like I don't even know what I'm doing I don't speak their language so it just one thing turned to another and I was just doing all kinds of stuff like game day I had to do interviews before the game I had to do an interview after the game I'm like this is intense I'm on the tv like in Lithuania <laughs> there's snow on the ground I don't even know what's going on in my life <laughs> you're probably still a celebrity over there I have no idea but every once in a while Lithuanians like if I go live Lithuania will be like hey from Chile and I'm like oh my gosh I love you guys like they're the best they're the best fans that is crazy yeah. so now after Lithuania you came back here yeah I came and, back and what did you do now I mean what do you do now with basketball so um I ended up connecting with the Clippers so I do their youth camps and their clinics um so that was the thing with basketball that I was like okay am I still play? am I not then um I started working with the ball out website so i do like some of their uh, media so i'll go to like the games like i cover some of the games for the website and instagram and facebook um and their twitter so i do reporting for them well i'm more of a host but i definitely do that um and then recently i just played in maldives so that was you know that just happened recently so again went a few years well 16 17 sort of um, yeah, I went a couple years without going back overseas because there was things that happened in my personal life that I really just didn't want to go back overseas and I wanted to stay out here um, and, you know, live my life. So I didn't go back and then Maldives came up and I was like, what? That's where people go on vacation, like honeymoons and 
It's they have an underwater hotel for ten thousand dollars a night. Like I'm going there to play. And so you were staying at the hotel a lot? No, <laughs> I didn't stay in that one. I wish, but uh, yeah. So they had me on the beach, and it was just so epic. Like I needed that. Like I was like, okay, I'm gonna go back again, and um, it's gonna be a shorter amount of time, but definitely worth the experience. Like I, you can't put money. You can't put words into like how amazing it is to play basketball in another country like you're getting like to know their culture you're getting to know what kind of food they eat you're getting to know what kind of people they are and it really helped me just mentally like understand because it's in south asia but they're um they're muslim so they wear you know the head scarves and things like that but i'm like you know back in the states there's certain people that look at them like here we go back to the stereotypes, stereotypes. Okay, oh, this person might have this and that on them. But I'm like, no, these are genuinely amazing people. And like, no matter what they're wearing, no matter what their accent sounds like, they are caring people. And it was amazing to, to be there, just to experience that again. Mm, no, I like to hear that, because it's almost like, not only did basketball and your father shape your personality to mm -hmm. have that burning desire to overcome things it also gave you the ability to go to different areas to be more well-rounded as a person. Now you're able to take that ability and then give it back to the kids. Oh, yeah. So that's crazy because it's almost like what you're able to teach a kid is 20-plus years of experience yeah. within some camps. Oh, yeah. And they and they're, kids are just so amazing because it's just like, it's just like funny because they don't hold back what they say. Like I remember one... Uh, it was like the last day of camp and they were like, okay, impersonate uh, your favorite something and like your favorite person or whatever. So one of the girls like impersonated me. So she had like a little ponytail and she had the whistle and she like, she's like, she blew the whistle. She's like, everybody get in line. <laughs> like, and then she's like, jump with your left hand. I'm like, wait a minute. And then like after the thing, everybody's cracking up laughing. And she came over to me and I was like, you did amazing. I was like, but come on now, I do smile sometimes. And she's like, oh, you're right, I'm sorry. And I was like, it was so cute though, because like I made an impression on her because that was like her little time to do whatever she wanted and she picked me. So I was like, aw. No, that is crazy. <laughs> Couple more questions. Yeah. One of the biggest questions is, now that you are where you are, if you had the opportunity to go back in time and talk to the younger you, let's say 15 year old you, mm -hmm. what would the conversation be about? Um, I would say just stay focused on the important things, God, family, friends, and less about what people say. And I would also tell myself that boys have cooties and... <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But um, no, I, I really would be like, okay, focus on those things and of course basketball. All that stuff that matters will come later. Thank you for watching A Wise Way. Subscribe to stay updated, share to pass the knowledge, or view our other videos on the left.